everybody and what a way to start the sunset safari with of course a big male lion here in the Sabi Sand. My name is Taylor and on camera with me today bringing you the most amazing footage is Sebastian. And well, this is a live and interactive safari. Perhaps this is your first time watching us. A big warm welcome to all of you. You can hashtag Safari Live on Twitter with any questions that you may have for us. But should we have another look at our friend over here? Now, he hasn't actually moved at all from where we left him this morning. He's sitting in exactly the same spot. In fact, he's actually moved further away from the guari tree now. He hasn't got his, he uh, his face shoved into it. And he is still hot. He is still full, and for now, he doesn't seem to look like he's going to be doing anything else other than digesting all of that zebra that is in his belly. And occasionally, he stares at us, he opens his eyes and reveals his beautiful golden color that he has got as, well, his, his eyes. It is really a fantastic afternoon. I was a bit worried. I was glad that the sun came out so that he didn't move too far because it would be a nightmare to have tried to relocate him through this block if especially if he went down into the drainage system there's too many Tsumbuti trees around here and when they form a thicket they're impenetrable so luckily for us I think today is going to be a good day and it seems as though if you were watching the pre-show Tristan has already picked up on some male leopard tracks hopefully they're fresh ones ones that it will indicate that there was a leopard moving in between game drive and he'll be able to find them. Like I say, Ali and Tristan have incredible luck. I actually don't think it's luck. I think it's skill when it comes to tracking and finding leopards. They're very, very lucky. Me on the other hand, well, I think I just get lucky <laughs> every now and then. Sometimes tracking works for me. But how cool is this? It's been a very, very long time since we last had, of course, we last had a cat to open up the show. Oh, look at that. Look how he's just looking up towards the sky. There's vultures circling above him. Now, we won't be able to see the vultures. They've obviously spotted him from the sky, so we'll keep an eye out on him. However, it's not just Tristan and I out driving about. James is also going to be joining us, so let's go across to the wide open plains of the Mara. Good